why do I keep on making this music? Why, why do I keep on doing this? Why have I still been doing this since I've been a little kid and doing this now? Does it pay me a whole bunch of money? No. I have made money before. DJing. Making mixtapes back in the day. So, basically... I do this really out of the out of the love of music, period. When I was younger, I played, um, I learned how to play percussion. I played trumpet in school. And so I used to DJ records and tapes back in the day. So I went from records and, and tapes to drum machines and and synthesizers. That was basically the reason why I got the drum machine, especially the Roland 303, was because I was wanting to mix in, I was wanting to mix in the grooves at that time, along with some records, you know, kind of like a make a mix tape. And at the same time, it had sound effects and all that. And that's the reason why I kept on doing it. And now here it is, 2024. Things have totally changed. Everything has totally changed. So why am I still doing it? It um it is something that is always I've always done. And that's the reason why some of this some of this equipment is old because I got some of the equipment a long time ago. I just kept it and I just kept adding to it and learning how to work the music, learning how to program the synthesizers, program the drum machines, mix the mixer. But I started all long time ago. And so, you know, in some ways I did this to kind of take my mind off stuff. You know what I mean? And um, I just focus my mind in on on my music and everything else, kind of like um, I didn't have to put my mind on that other stuff. So I just focus in on the music. And, and I still keep doing it, you know? And if it wasn't for me liking what I do, I'd been in quit a long time ago. I've been quitting a long time ago because, you know, you know, you start, you start a long time ago and you start making your music the way how it was a long time ago. And then you try to keep, you try to keep up. But then one thing I've learned about this is that it, it change and change and change and change and change. And, um, and at the same time, while it's changing, you're changing. And so now I just went ahead and um, took a lot of stuff that I did and just made it out of a podcast. I went ahead and got me my own um, web server called kcdjunique.com where I can... Um, have my own server, my own music up on there, and it's mine. Then if I want to put in ads and all that type of stuff, I can do it on that. You know what I mean? And the whole goal, and another one of my goals is performance. You know, another reason why I kept doing this for all these years because, you know, I always like to try to make something people that uh, people could dance to have a good time, you know. Um, and so I work on a lot of the music to see whether or not to see the crowd's reaction, because it's not like as if I'm DJing somebody else's music. I used to DJ other people's music, 
and other people's music, especially if the music is doing good, it's easy, it's easy to DJ. But when you make your own music, you have to play it for people and see whether or not they like what you got to play. And so that's kind of been the, the challenge. And at the same time, I kind of make, make music so that I could um, improvise with, with some more instruments. So I basically just try to lay out a little music to uh, come back, throw some keys on it, throw some drums on it, put a little extra bass on it. But I like to do it live after all these years but like I said things is really changing but I don't think that I'm going to stop making music at all even though I'm not making any uh, whole bunch of money off of it I got other ways to make money you know what I mean just do it out of love for the music and there's nothing wrong to have a little fun with it. You know what I mean? So that's about it. And uh, for the people who are um, getting off into music, hopefully you're doing it because you really like what you're doing. You know what I mean? If you like what you're doing, it's a little bit more um, enjoyable. But if you're doing it strictly for money, hey, good luck. You know what, y'all? To me, the, the thing that I've learned about doing this for for years and years, it's like, man, some of the equipment that you work with, man, it's so com. I mean, it's so in depth that you have to learn. Like this Roland D20 that I'm that I got sitting right in front of me, man, it is so deep. It is pathetic. And it just take a long time to to learn all this and put all this together. But once again, man, just try to do it because you'd like to do it. Here it is. I'm going to keep on and keep on trying to put something together. All the time, I'm always thinking about something else to, um, to bring out. Something else what to do what to mix this in so I don't think that I'm gonna ever quit you know what I mean it's way too fun and I enjoy it too much so there it is and I hope uh, all the you cats out there the people who make music and stuff like that y'all stay up alright and for the uh, people starting off Hopefully this right here will be something uh, that you enjoy. Maybe you'll do it for years, maybe not. But one thing that I do know is technology just keeps changing and changing and changing. And the whole world changes, man. But anyway, y'all, hey, I'm out, man. Be cool.